All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions about what BMS I'm gonna be using for my 10 Tesla Model X battery modules in my conversion. And the answer is I'm not really using a standard BMS. Instead what I'm using is a BMS uh, control board, really a balance board uh, controller. And what this is, is it's called a SIMP BMS, is it communicates with the balance boards on every one of the modules and it lets them do all the balancing. This just sends the signals and tells them what to do. So this makes it a lot simpler and also cheaper than if I were to use a complete BMS system with something like the Dilithium BMS or the Orion BMS. Now this was only about $500, whereas a full BMS for my batteries would be about $2,400 if I went with the uh, Orion BMS. The SIM BMS is based around a Teensy microprocessor, which is this bit here, and the rest of the board is custom, custom made for controlling these battery modules. It supports a number of different types of modules, not just the Tesla modules that I'll be using it for. It also works with BMW i3 modules, Chevy Volt modules, and a couple others. But for my use case with the Tesla firmware, I'll only be using this this plug here to communicate with the actual battery modules. The rest of them are either for contactor control or for displays or for a current sensor, which is what this one's for. And I'll go over all those things in just a minute. As I said, it was very easy to set up and program. And here are some earlier logs I had from when I tested it with one of the battery modules. So this is in Termite, which is a very common uh, serial interface program. And you can see for each, for the one module that I had connected, you can see the total voltage, and then the voltage of each individual cell. So there's six different cells, cell zero, one, two, three, four, five. And also the temperatures on both battery terminals. So it's pulling all this information right from the balance board, which gets that information from the module itself. Um, and it was very easy to set up, it only took me a couple minutes. So of course now that it's not connected to anything, it's showing up with zero volts and no cell voltage. But you can still go into the settings, which is very easy. You just type in S and click enter. And this gives you all the different settings that you could possibly dream of. You can also get some optional add-ons with this kit. So here I have the pin set, the pin and connector set, which gives you all the connectors you need to terminate the wires and wire this thing up properly, which is, I think, more or less mandatory if you want to set this thing up and do it right. And you can also get a small 2.5 inch touchscreen display. And this thing is great. I was looking at it earlier and I'll demonstrate it in just a minute. But it shows state of charge, voltage, and temperature, which are all very helpful things to have. And this will be wired up so it's right next to the driver's seat so I can look at it uh, on the dash, most likely, while I'm driving. Here's the touchscreen display all connected up. Right now it's just showing some uh, placeholder information since the, it's not connected to the BMS, it's just connected to power. Um, so it shows the battery here and a battery state of charge here in a visual indicator as well as just a number. That's the current draw or current input if you're charging and that's the temperature of the battery. If you click the details button here, you get all kinds of information, like the variance between the, the different cell voltages, the delta between them, and it's all touchscreen. And this, this was a pretty inexpensive add-on, so I figured it was worth it. This VMS wasn't previously available in North America, only in Europe, uh, but I'll be selling them here in North America, and I really think these are the best BMS option for Tesla modules. They're inexpensive. They use the high quality OEM balance boards and they're very simple to set up and use. So if you're interested in one, I have a bunch of them. Just leave a comment and I'll reach out to you.